my channel my name is Rhi if you are new here then welcome so this is an exciting video so this is what is in my hospital bag for labor and delivery I am currently 39 weeks pregnant nearly at the finishing line um so I thought I'd share with you what I've packed in my hospital bag and we'll go through it together and what's in baby's bag so I have written out a lovely list of stuff that we need to do so for mama bag we've got clothes labor essentials postpartum toilet trees and electricals there is quite a few things on this list i've never really been minimal with packing for holiday or anything like that so it's just me really but i'm a nurse and i know what patients bring into hospital and we never really think that they overpack we're just glad that they've got their own stuff and they're comfortable so i'm sure the midwives will be the same <laughs> hopefully anyway but let's go so clothes we've got 90s so i'm bringing two so the first one is this black one from asos it's oversized it's a maternity and i just thought it'd be great because it's black in color so no bodily fluids gonna get on it and then i've got another 90 which i'm taking as like a backup 90 in case anything happens to first 90 and this is just a blue one so this one isn't black but this is also from asos like i will link down below where i got them from if you like them and then we've got my my comfy going home outfit so this is just a leggings and a t-shirt so I am giving birth in June so I do think it's gonna be quite hot gonna want to be comfortable going home from the hospital after giving birth so I thought leggings and a t-shirt perfect and then we've got my big Bridget Jones knickers so these, these knickers I actually bought from home bargains never thought they even sold knickers when I went in there but I thought oh these will be perfect because you can fit your pads in them they're comfortable you don't know if you're gonna have a c-section or not so you want them to be really big then I've packed in a nursing bra so I think this is really important especially if you're going to be breastfeeding your baby this one was from bravado and it's a really good one if you've got larger breasts really really supportive it's really comfy and I think it's a really cute color as well and then we've got gripper socks so I'd say gripper socks are really important don't just take normal socks because the hospital floors are so slippery and the amount of times like when I've been in work with patients patients that are fully mobile have just slipped over and it's just dangerous isn't it if you're going to be giving birth the last thing you want to do is to slip over so I definitely say get some socks with some grit I'm also going to take slippers as well as the gripper socks but these ones also have the grips at the bottom as well and then I'm going to take a dressing gown so I went with a really thin dressing gown obviously because it's June and the hospital is probably going to be quite hot in June doubt my hospital has air con so that's why I have a pack a big fluffy dressing gown so this is my one I only got it from Sheen it was quite cheap I'll link this one down below as well if you're looking for a cheap dressing gown to take to labour with with you then I've packed a sports bra so I was hoping maybe to do a pool birth if there was a pool available when I go into labor there might not be but I just want to pack it just in case there is I kind of didn't really want to wear a bikini top I felt it would be a tiny bit revealing I wouldn't feel comfortable so I thought sports bra it's kind of waterproof so it'll do really well in the water and it'll cover me up as well and then we go on to labor essentials so number one in the labor essentials I've got pregnancy notes so we all know how important this is and we've all probably gone to one of our midwife appointments and forgotten the pregnancy notes and felt like a bit of a fool so definitely take your pregnancy notes with you then I've also got here birth plan so if you've written one or you haven't written one whatever your preference is but I do think it's important to jot down what you kind of want in labor to happen for you and your baby I can imagine in the hustle and bustle of birth you're probably going to forget something whenever I see my midwife my mind just goes absolutely blank and then I leave the appointment and I can just think of a million things to ask her so I think it's really really good to write down what you want to happen and then I've got water bottle so I've opted for the really this really massive water bottle probably a little bit too big I got this from Amazon I wanted to get one really big because when you're in hospital they put a jug of water on the table and when you finish that you'll have to keep asking the nurse or the midwife to fill it up so I thought it'd be easier just to get a really really big one so it fills up all the way and I don't have to keep asking them to fill it up for me to keep hydrated while I'm there so this one has a little straw that pops out of the lid as well because you're not going to be wanting to like pick up and put down these water bottles and then I've got lip balm on here you might just get a little bit dehydrated in birth so I just put in a little Vaseline just to keep on my bedside table in case I need it and then also I've got a really important one I've got this portable fan that I bought off Amazon 
Island. So this is really, really good. So you click it three times, it has three different settings and it's one with the legs where you can wrap it around the bars on the bed in the hospital. Your partner can hold it for you or you can stand it up on your bedside table. I feel like this would be really important, especially if you're giving birth to a summer baby. It is gonna be so hot in the hospital. And then I've got on here, really important one, pillow. So you don't wanna use the NHS pillows. Obviously you're gonna have them already on your bed there, which you can use, but they usually have like a plastic cover on them underneath the pillowcase. It just makes you feel a little bit sweaty. So nothing like your own comfort of your own home as well. So taking your pillow with your own scented comfort on your pillowcase, that's what I'm gonna do anyway. And I've got on another one, this is definitely a labor essential, is snacks. So I actually put my partner in charge of this option. So he's gonna be in his hospital bag, but he's gonna be packing all of the snacks. <laughs> then I've also got on here medication. So this one's important. So if you do take regular medication, when you go in, you need to tell your nurse or your midwife straight away as some medications don't go with each other. So they'll definitely need to know what you're taking. And then we go on to postpartum section. So we've got night pads. So I've opted for the really, really massive heavy ones, which I probably think loads of people probably will take to hospital with them for their postpartum period. And then I've also got always discreet pants on here. These ones are the ones I've seen loads of other mums take to hospital with them. They're not the most attractive, but if they do the job, they do the job. So I've also packed in some breast pads. Your milk doesn't come in for a few days. It's probably more safe to take them. And also you don't know how long you are gonna be staying in hospital in case anything happens. I'm just taking these disposable ones with me. And then we've got nipple balm. So I'm taking this purple nipple balm, which I've heard is really good. I've heard to even put it on before you start breastfeeding, kind of to prep the nipple a little bit as well. So this is a really important one if you're planning on breastfeeding. Then I've got the My Expert Midwife Spritz Blitz Spray. So I've heard this one is a lifesaver from other mums and I've also heard it's not that great. So I'm hoping to find out for myself if it's good or not. I didn't buy this one full price. I know it is quite pricey if you buy it from the actual website. So I just went on Vinted. I think it was like seven quid that I bought it for. It's sealed, it hasn't been opened. I think other mums buy it for labor and then end up having like a C-section. So they obviously just end up selling it. So if you are on a little bit of a budget, but you want all the gear, I'd look on vintage. And then I've got the Freedom Mum cooling pads. So these ones are also quite pricey as well. All the Freedom Mum stuff is pricey. I got these ones on Boots. I did find they were a little bit cheaper from Boots, the cooling pads. But these just go in your knickers or your pads. And if you're really sore down there, it's supposed to cool you and give you a, like a sense of relief. And then we've got a perineal bottle. So this is to use when you're having a wee. So you squirt it down there on your like for JJ. And it's supposed to cool you while you're having a wee because it can sting. I'm assuming it will really sting or be sore. And to be honest, really sensitive. You're not going to be wanting to rub tissue paper down there either if you're, you've are you got a tear or you've got stitches. Yeah. Then I've also packed in a cold pack. So these aren't the cracking ones that do it straight away. So you've actually got to put these ones in the freezer for 20 minutes. But these ones are quite good because they also go into a heat pack so you can use it and they're reusable. So they're not just one use. But these can go in your pants if you're really, really sore down below. So then we go on to section four, which is toiletries. So first we've got soft towels you're not going to want to use the NHS towels they're really small they're really rough and you're probably just going to feel so much nicer after having a shower using your own towel I'd go for a dark colored towel as well so this is my, my darkest towel that I have but obviously dark for obvious reasons then I've put in here dry shampoo. I'm probably gonna wash my hair after labor, but when you're in labor, you might just feel really minging, you might get sweaty. You might just want a quick freshen up in the toilet just to make yourself feel a little bit better. And I've also put in here optional makeup. So I know a lot of people's opinions with makeup on these videos is very strong. And if they say you shouldn't need to think about having makeup on your face when you're having a baby. And to be fair, I don't really feel like I will care. Like we'll find, I'll find out and see, but sometimes I do break out in acne and I just feel gross and I just can imagine when I'm leaving the hospital the next day I'm gonna want to feel fresh and nice going home with my new baby so why not just take a little bit of concealer I don't really see the problem <laughs> and I've also put in here a travel shampoo and conditioner obviously if you're gonna want to have a shower and freshen up after labor you're gonna want to use shampoo and conditioner then I've got in here shower gel so I've got all of these in small little bottles just like travel little bottles then I've got a sponge slash flannel so flannel's a good idea because your partner can just wet it in cold water if you're feeling really really hot in labor put it on your head and then we've got 
toothbrush and toothpaste. I probably could have just taken my electric toothbrush that's in my bathroom now, but I think you don't know how much of in a rush you're gonna be when you leave and to go to the hospital. So I thought it'd just be easier just to have everything just packed in my suitcase so I can literally just grab and go to, to the hospital when I go into labor. Instead of like worrying that I've forgotten something and having to like add loads of other things in it as we're leaving. And I've got makeup remover wipes because I don't know if I'm gonna be wearing makeup when I go into labor and I'm gonna wanna take it off my face if I'm really, really hot and I just don't want it there. I've also put in here Frem Fresh wipes. So I am a little bit of a debater with Frem Fresh. Like I never know whether they're actually good for you or not. Apparently they can interfere with your pH balance down below. I imagine I'm a little bit self-conscious and with people going down their loads, I'm probably gonna wanna just like maybe freshen up a little bit. This might be famous last words. I might not give a crap when I'm actually in labor. Then I've got deodorant. I've got my hairbrush. I've got bubbles, clips, scrunchie on here. And I've also got hand sanitizer. They're probably gonna have hand sanitizer in the hospital anyway. And next we've got electricals. So we've got on here, obviously, your phone. So this is on my tick list. So I'm gonna make sure that I take it off. So we've got on here as a long phone charger. So this one is a good idea. All the plugs in hospital are always in awkward places. They're really far behind your bed. Your bed might be pushed out a little bit or your partner might wanna sit on the chair and there's no plug by there. So a long phone cable is really important if you are gonna be wanting to use your phone at the same time. You never know how long you're gonna be in labor for as well. You're gonna to wanna to keep in contact with family. You're gonna to wanna to take photos and you're gonna want your phone to be charged. And I've got on here really important, the fan charger because we can't let the fan run out of battery that would be really annoying and I've also got on here my instant film camera so this is obviously an optional option for you to go for but I thought it'd be really cute just to take some photos may not even think about it when we're there but I'm um, probably just end up using our iPhones to take photos but I thought it'd be really cute to just have some like vintagey sort of Polaroid photos then I've got headphones headphones are a priority for me I hope I remember to put them in my bag because you're gonna want to zone out if you're having contractions you listen to your hypnobirthing if you're doing it and just zone out and try and really really focus on your breathing and then I've also got iPad you don't know how long you're gonna be in labor for you might want to watch a film you might want to watch a program yeah so that's why I put iPad on there so that's it with mama bag so we go on to the baby bag which is the most exciting one and we've got these into three sections as well so essentials clothes and extras so the bag that I'm taking is from Stork Sack. So this is just a nappy bag. And my nan bought me this bag because I think it is quite pricey. I will link it down below. But it did have a lot of other stuff that comes with it. So it came with a travel nappy changing mat. It came with loads of creams, wipes and things. So I thought this is killing two birds and one stone. I wouldn't buy an extra bag just to put the baby's things in for the hospital. Just gonna use this nappy bag for her. So the first one in essentials is the car seat. Most important one, basically. All about baby safety, you need to make sure you have a car seat. Do not forget the car seat. Then we've got nappies. So I am taking a full pack of nappies. They probably will have nappies there, but I don't want to rely on that because you just never know, do you? These are just the ones from Aldi and I've heard they're really, really good. So I'm going to try them out. I do have the reusable ones at home as well, but for the sake of the hospital, I think it'd just be way easy just to take disposables. Then also got on here number three, which is an optional one, is water wipes. So they do say in the baby's first few days that you should just use hot water and cotton wool buds so I'm gonna take in cotton wool in a big sandwich bag so just really want to protect his skin and make sure I'm doing everything properly and as a nurse when we're washing a patient down below we actually never use wipes because it's very very messy so we always use cloths and hot water it does clean a lot better than the wipes then I'm putting in a baby barrier cream in there as well and then I've got in there baby nail file so I'm taking this Tommy Tippy grooming kit we'll not need half the stuff in there like the thermometer and everything because they'll have a lot better equipment in the hospital but I just want to take it because it's got the nail file in there and babies do come out with long nails sometimes and then I'm taking two blankets so I'm just taking this one from George and this one which was actually present I don't know where it's from but it's got a cute little sheep on it so I think two will be enough blankets to take to the hospital and then we've got muslins these are important as well obviously baby's going to be really really sicky and then we go on to clothes so I'm taking five vest baby grows four sleep suits a going home outfit, three pairs of socks, three pairs of mittens, two hats and two bibs. 
So I have put them in these sandwich bags, which I've labeled outfit one, outfit two, outfit three. This is in case I stay overnight for any reason or two nights or whatnot. You know, we might need to change her a few times. She might be a sicky baby, you just don't know. I am only taking newborn because I have been measuring quite small. I know it's not super accurate, the ultrasounds and things, but she's not gonna need a zero to three. I am debating maybe taking a, up to one month instead of a zero to three, just in case she is a bigger baby. But zero to one month is up to 10 pounds anyway, and I really highly, well I hope, I'm not gonna have a baby over 10 pounds coming out, so. Then I've got my section, which is extras. So I'm taking this really cute wooden announcement plaque, which I thought is really adorable, maybe just for the announcement photo that we take of her when she's born. I got this off Etsy. I'll link the shop down below. I thought it was really cute. I will hide the name. <laughs> Not because I haven't even been keeping the name secret. Like everyone who I know knows what we're calling her. But just for the video, artist, I will keep it a secret. And then obviously I've put in a pen in there as well so we can write on the announcement plaque. Then I am taking a dummy in case I stay overnight. This Gatit's one like a nipple because I am planning on breastfeeding since so I wouldn't want to confuse her. So I'm taking a swaddle which is easy which has got the zip. Didn't buy this one full price, I know these are quite expensive. Bought this on Vinted for £2. This other swaddle which is gorgeous, my partner's mum bought it for her. It's got cute little roses, I think it's originally from Amazon, I'm not 100% sure. I think it, it does come in a pack of three but I thought this would be really really cute to have as the announcement photo. Swaddle her up in that. Then I am taking bottled formula. Obviously if things don't go to plan she doesn't latch on well I wouldn't want to cause stress to me or the baby ready-made bottle formula just in case and then I've got on here a little teddy bear this is really optional you don't need to take a teddy bear but I thought it'd be cute just to put next to her in the photo there we go so that's it with baby bag I'm just going to quickly go over my list of dad bag <laughs> or your birth and partner bag, whoever is going to the labour with you, because they're gonna need stuff as well, because they're there. Comfy clothes, so like joggers, t-shirt, I've got on here comfortable shoes, maybe trainers, or even like sliders, to be honest. And I've got change of clothes for going home, because if they've been in those comfortable clothes for 24 hours, or however long you were in there, they're gonna wanna feel a little bit fresh going home as well. And I've got one pair of underwear, and one pair of new pair of socks. Then I've got toiletries, so they'll need a toothbrush and toothpaste, and deodorant as well then I've got their phone phone charger a tablet in case they want to keep occupied while you while it's going on so I put earplugs on here not because I think I'm gonna be really really loud or whatnot but it's really important for your birthing partner to be on the ball with everything going on you might be out of it or you might not be up for answering questions and they're gonna need to answer for you they're gonna need to not be tired so it is really important that they get to have some rest so I think earplugs is a good one to put in there so they can zone out too when you're not needing them to be there present with you then I've also got on here for them a pillow as well so they're comfortable they're probably going to be sitting on this hard NHS chair so it would be nice that they have some comfort as well then I've got on here loose change slash wallet you might be going to a hospital that has the car parks with just the mini slots a lot of them do have the card machines these days but just to be sure I would take some loose money and even for the vending machines as well then I've also got on here paracetamol because when you're tired you're going to get a headache and they're probably going to be really tired and they're not the patient so the hospital will not give them paracetamol so it is a good idea that they take some just in case they need it but yeah I really enjoyed this video I love watching other mums what's in your hospital bag video so I was really looking forward to making this one but if you like this video then please give it a like please subscribe to my channel if you want more mother content but thanks for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day bye guys Thank you.